Hi, I'm Ben Mearns, and welcome to Fundamentals of GeoServer. My background in IT and GIS includes web development for clients in research, education, government, healthcare, and commerce. I know the ins and outs of GIS from the developer, manager, educator, and user perspectives. As a developer, I've used GeoServer to develop a campus mapping system for a large university, and as a manager, I've led the maintenance of the data behind that enterprise system. As an educator, I've taught college courses, led workshops, seminars, and lectures, and contributed to publish works related to GIS, web development, data science, open software, and open data. I know about user needs because I've consumed GIS for my own work, as well as supporting those that do for theirs. Most recently, I authored a book on open source GIS desktop package QGIS with Pact. This course will cover GeoServer fundamentals, including everything you need to produce a basic customized web app, leveraging GeoServer's OGC web services and open layers. This overview video will give you some details about what's to come. In section one, you'll learn about how aspects of the software and hardware environment affect GeoServer and how to select these appropriately. In section two, you will install GeoServer, learning the details of the installation and installation options, and troubleshoot problems which may occur. In section three, you will learn about the OpenLayers API and how to leverage GeoServer with the OpenLayers API to produce a simple web map application. In section four, you will learn about the data stores, types of stores, and adding data to GeoServer. You will learn to add a variety of data formats to GeoServer. The target audience for this course has a basic understanding of GIS and web development. The hardware software requirements are broadly a PC running Windows, Linux, or Mac OS from the last five years. The emphasis is on Windows with coverage of Linux. Mac users will find the GUI approach in Windows most applicable to their own environment. By the end of the course, you will understand how GeoServer runs and how to run your own GeoServer instance and web map application. Furthermore, you will know how to add a variety of data formats and customize open layers to produce a custom web map application. Now that you've got a good idea for what we'll be covering in the course, 